Good morning, Trinity family. It's Wednesday, April the 22nd. Uh, Wednesdays have become, for these moments, sort of a liturgical Wednesday. And the purpose is to remind us midweek that we are a community. Though we are scattered, we are together. And though we're spread out, we are unified. Though isolated in homes, we remain the church militant. And though alone, we are a family. And we do believe in the communion of the saints. We are united in Christ. Let's begin with praise and thanksgiving from the 100th Psalm. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever. His faithfulness to all generations. Let's confess our faith together, and we'll use the Apostles' Creed, and we answer the questions, Christian, what do you believe, and for what would you be willing to die? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let's have a time of confession of sin, uh, first silently, and then I'll break the silence with a prayer of confession uh, that actually I found on the Third Mill website. So, uh, let's confess our sins silently. If you'll pray this with me as I lead us. Gracious God, our sins are too heavy to carry. They're too real to hide and too deep to undo. Forgive what our lips tremble to name, what our hearts can no longer bear, and what has become for us a consuming fire of judgment. Set us free from a past that we cannot change. Open to us a future in which we can be changed and grant us grace to grow more and more in your likeness and image through Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Amen. One of my favorite assurance of pardons is in Isaiah. He says, come now, let us reason together. Thus saith the Lord, though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Praise the Lord. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, let's go now to him in prayer. Our God and Father, we pray for our families. We pray that uh, all ages are uh, sheltered in place in a lot of different ways in their homes, and we pray now for the fruit of the Spirit, for love and joy and peace patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We pray for our marriages, and we pray that there would be great resolve, uh, that there would be a great strength in our marriages, uh, camaraderie, 
and a deeper love for one another. We pray for our singles. We pray for their strength. We pray uh, they would understand and know the love of the saints for them, the communion of the saints. The Holy Spirit would fill them, and Jesus would be their greatest companion. So we pray for our widows and our widowers. We pray for them to have courage. We pray for the widows that you say you'll be their husband. And widows and widowers, again, with the singles, we pray that they would know you as their constant companion. Lord, we know day by day there are those in our church who are feeling the weight of financial fear. And we pray as a church to act like the church and to be there and to help provide. And we ask you to have us pray and remember one another and that we not take anything for granted. We know and pray for those who are losing their jobs or maybe they've just lost job security and they are, again, living in uh, fear, anxiety, and then for whatever reason that anyone may have such emotions, we pray for the work of the great helper, the Holy Spirit. We know this is Jesus' own spirit, and we want to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. He has told you, O oh man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you? to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Amen.